Oh, that was very good. And uh, that's, obviously that's filling up. And uh, just a reminder that obviously, if to win our ever growing prize booty on the Christmas tree, you have to text us. That's your first name and your last name, followed by 01. First name and last name to 01, and the numbers above you, or it's down here as well, which is 020 33 224 907. There's about five minutes to go, so uh, get texting. All right, brilliant. Thanks, John. Right. You might have noticed I'm holding a squidgy cube. I do that once in a while. It's kind of like a stress ball type thing. Actually, it's not. It's a very innovative piece of tech that we've designed on the Gadget Show. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But uh, the point is that we've got seven of these to give away. And, you know, I'm a little bit traditional, to be honest with you, when it comes to Chrissy. And I wanted to do a nice Christmassy way of getting these seven things out there, you know, kind of panto, Christmas, that sort of thing. And so for the seventh day of Christmas, Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Gadget Show Live welcome to the Seven Dwarves! Just for the little kids, if there's any little ones in the audience, Seven Dwarves. Alright? Brilliant. Sorry, mate, there's um, the other six guys, are they? No, it, 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 you've got no chance, mate. It's panto season. You're lucky I'm here. You're having a laugh, right? Nope, just me. I've got seven of these things. I've got one dwarf. How am I going to make this work? Uh, okay, are you into your tech? I love it. Are you a gadget show fan? Yes. You like your tech? Yes. All right, okay. Maybe we can somehow make this work. Just hold this iPad here. There are my seven cubes here. I'll just at least show you what these things are. This is called an AR cube, okay? There's no technology in it. It literally is just a squashy foam cube. But it's capable of some magic. If you hold it up there, please. What's your name, mate? My name's Greg. Nice to meet you, Greg. Uh, just there. Um, let's start on this side here. Now, there are images on all the sides of this cube, which when you hold them up to a special app, which you can download for Android or iOS, fun things start to happen. So no technology inside the cube. It's pure AR, augmented reality. Okay? If I turn it around here as well, there's a really snazzy little section. It says the word game. In fact, Greg, if you could just touch that with your finger on the surface of the iPad, that's it. Hang on, hang on, let it just set up, wait a second, try again. There we go. Isn't that brilliant look? And as I move the cube around, it still works. Try and play the game, it's a kind of version of whack-a-mole, except it's me and Polly. <laughs> now, we have got seven of these, which makes them pretty exclusive, okay? These are kind of, thank you very much, Greg, these are kind of collector's items, the only issue we have is there was meant to be seven of you guys, seven cubes, getting them out there. Guys, guys, sorted. I've got my clubs. I can get them out into the audience. <laughs> wow! Okay. You're awesome. I, okay, so, so you couldn't play golf a year ago, but now you can. Well, that's debatable. Basically, um, I'll give it a go. Yeah, Polly did, a, Polly did a challenge to learn golf using technology and, interestingly, fell in love with the game. Is that fair to say, Polly? I absolutely fell in love and with she's the game. And she's been telling me um, that she's now pretty hot stuff when it comes to golf. Is that seven? Am I going mad? Is it seven? But I we're about we to find about out. Count. You're going to test okay. your metal now. One, two, three, four, five, five. six, seven. Yes, put it okay. on there. And we've got one missing. I don't really understand. Three, no one, six, two, seven. Three, oh, we've just got an extra one. Good luck. Right, watch yourself. Okay. If you're fond of your head, you might not want to get too close. Look, can I just, before you do this, Yeah. trust me, Polly couldn't hit anything, all right? I about, might still not be able about to. About <laughs> six months ago, was it? I Maybe did the challenge year. about a year ago. Two things happened in that time. One is that she found the game of golf using technology for a challenge on the gadget show and has continued to play. The other thing is that she also found a golfer, Paul Casey. Romance. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, we're, we're about to see if all that romance and training has paid off. Now, remember, do be careful, because if this doesn't Seriously, in the face, it could be it could smart. Home. All so right, and let's count it down home. with her. Okay, first of all, here we go, Polly, go for it. One! <laughs> Nailed it! Okay, oh, keep counting with me, that. people. Here we go, Polly. Number two! A little bit higher this time, please. Okay. A little bit of a loftier shot, if you can. Three, oh, yeah. right in the snozzle. <laughs> Number four, ambulance. Number four, coming out to Cleopatra. That's an absolute beauty. How's that? Oh, wait. Whoa, wait. wait. That's only because it's coming your way. Test shot. Test, Test shot, shot, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my gimme. Thanks, Jess. Right, watch okay. 
touch your head. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Nailed it! Nailed it! Hang on, we've got one more hit, Bonnie, before you... And one more. Okay, yeah, you do that, you do that. Watch your head. Okay. How's that? Absolutely beautiful, oh, Polly, oh, looking oh, good. So, oh, nice test, now really good. <laughs> Always important to do a practice swing, remember that. Always, two out of seven, not good. Ready? Absolute corker, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Six months <laughs> of gadget-based golf training, and that's what you can achieve. You probably won't look that good in your golfing gear. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And to continue that, I've got one of these. Why not? Do balls. it. We're going to put that on for day seven. Get that right up there, day seven. And it's not going to be alone, because I've also got for day seven a very uh, splendid pair of noise-cancelling headphones, these PSP speakers, the M4U2. So that's a pretty substantial uh, addition to our prize tree that goes on there. Which brings us to the number eight and day eight. Now, you may have noticed that Gadget Show Live is now sponsored by Windows, and uh, eight's a big number for them this year. There's a new uh, Windows 8 operating system for laptops, desktops, and tablets. There's also the new Windows Phone 8. Uh, Polly's got one here. She's a kindly lent me it. As you can tell, it comes with this nice little foam sock she, she uses there. And uh, this is a Nokia Lumia 920. You see, there's Polly with her, with her boyfriend on the front there. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good new phone operating system. They've uh, revised the tile system. You can now resize the tiles. Uh, there's still the Xbox integration, which is useful. You can actually use this as a second screen uh, for playing games. Uh, uh, games like uh, Dance Central with it, which is uh, which is pretty useful. It's uh, there's also a sort of local scout, which means you can find sort of things local to the phone. That's another useful facility, and it's uh, it's pretty quick as a phone as well. That's something that Microsoft are very proud of. In fact, they're uh, they're doing a challenge on their stand, which is at the entrance to our main hall, where if you've got a phone with a rival operating system that you think's quicker, you can go along, do a race with them, and if you win, you'll win a you'll win a prize, which is pretty good. So day eight. Uh, is uh, Windows 8, I've got one of those for the tree, and Mobile Phone 8 from Microsoft. Excellent, jolly good. Well, that means we're now moving on to day nine. Do you know what, how quickly are we getting through these days? That's quite impressive. But for day nine, we've got some fantastic news, and something that's quite exciting is at the end of this year, the Gadget Show will be celebrating their ninth birthday. How fantastic is that? Nine years of Gadget nine. Show. Thank you very much, it's very kind, but it's day nine in our Christmas uh, calendar, so we wanted to find someone else who's celebrating their ninth birthday, and you should probably be at school. Um, <laughs> so is, is there, first of all, this is quite a risky that one, is there anyone in the audience who's nine today, and we will be testing you, so do make sure you're not fibbing, and you've got to, it's the first one we see in your dreams, 19 Hard right? make around. So, well, where, where are we? Have a look. Up there, is it, is it your ninth birthday today? Okay. No. You're kidding me, what have you been eating? Shredded wheat? Rick, you need to be thinking about your birthday right now. <laughs> you're not, you're older than nine. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Have you got oh, your passport in. with you? Give, give me this one. And you've got a <laughs> seat for me as well, brilliant. Right, first of all, date of birth now, go. 29 March 2004. Well, that's not today, is it? It's he didn't think that through. Did you he? have been found out. And the scary thing is, it wasn't even the year. It was the month. What are you like? Oh. Is that it's your mum? 30th December or something. Is that your mum? 2001, yeah. That's the is that your, your mum? That reminds me from when I used to go clubbing when I wasn't supposed He's to. He's not going to get any presents. Though, okay, has anybody had Santa their Claus ninth birthday this week? Ninth birthday this week? Anyone celebrating their ninth birthday this week? Where are you? We need a person. Where? Nine. Where? Do you know what? What Where? are you lot eating? Seriously? Dude. For nine. Come on. Okay, well, tell you what. who's had a ninth birthday this month? No, 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 in no. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. We've got to be careful here. Okay. Now, it's going to be the first person to put their hands up. Polly, join me in the centre of the stage to make okay. it fair. The first person that we notice, okay? Let's look over there, Polly, at the big G. Okay. And then we'll spin around. The first person that we notice, yeah? Yep. The Which first person that we notice. Clockwise or anticlockwise? Who? Is that the Milky Bar kid? Seriously, stand up. Wait a second. You got your hand up. I was about to move on there, but maybe I should just slow down a second. First of all, how much money did you get for that advert? 
And have you the put any bars chocolate are on me? You? No, seriously. <laughs> you're amazingly blonde. Well, weirdly, your mother isn't. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Nine. Okay, oh, okay, let's just go with it. Yeah. Let's just go with that, I think yeah? So. Let's pretend it's your birthday Brilliant. today. Brilliant! First of all, happy birthday! When is your birthday? 7th November. That's all right! Oh, that was this one! What's your name? What's your name? Kane. What is it? Kane. Kane. Okay, Kane, a birthday isn't the same without a present. And of course, we need to sing happy birthday to you. So, everybody, are you ready? I hope you're in fine voice. Well, I did hear you earlier. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Kane, dear Kane. Happy birthday to you. It's not even your birthday, man. How surreal is this? What have you got? What have you got? Let's have a look. Open your pressing. Come on, open your pressing, man. Tear it open. Quicker than that. Rip it out. Wow, Quick. Christmas morning must last ages with you. Look. <laughs> there you go, dude. What have you got? What have you got? What have you got? Hold it up. Let's see it on the camera. Oh, and wow. And it is. What is it? I don't even know what it is. It's a split stuff. It's a remote control car that splits up and does cool stuff. Happy stunts. birthday, Kane. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! Kane. But of course, we still oh. need a prize for the tree. Indeed, we have. We have a, another, it's not, it's not, not quite a matching prize, but another very splendid prize, which will be excellent when I'm unveiled on Christmas Day. So I'll pop that up there for day 10. Oh, sorry, day nine, which brings us on to day ten. And for that, we have one of the fastest and most advanced cameras on Earth. We do indeed. This is the Phantom Flex Super Slow Mo Camera. Now, when you watch television, it's shot and transmitted at 25 frames per second. So that basically means you are seeing 25 still images on your TV every second. And the reason that it's shot at that frame rate and at that speed is that the human eye merges each of the still shots together and it looks like a moving image. Yeah. So logically, if you wanted to do slow motion, you'd just slow it down, right? So instead of seeing 25 frames in one second, you'd see 12 and a half frames in, in one second. Now, it would be slow, but it would also be pretty juddery. So the trick to making nice, super smooth slow motion is to shoot more frames than 25 in a second. Which is where cameras like the Phantom Flex come in, because this can shoot up to 2,500 frames a second. So when you slow that down to 25 frames a second, you're actually getting motion at 100th the speed, as we can see here, but it's all still gloriously smooth. I mean, this, this very camera is very advanced. It's actually used with um, all the recent Bond films. It's been used with Inception. It's high definition, shoots two megapixel uh, frames, and uh, really does deliver superb results, I think. I've got to say, John, the thing I'm most impressed by is how good you look in baggies on your surfboard. <laughs> it is absolutely incredible. Now, man, you, you look great there. It's a young John from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> now, you may have seen us use this camera in one of the recent shows in Switzerland with myself and Jason. Um, and in fact, if you haven't, here's a quick reminder of how we use this camera. I've organised something a little bit special. OK. okay? I've is... got some safety glasses, yeah. Don't let the hazard warning stripes on the gun worry you too much. <laughs> That is a great shot! I think he actually sadistically really enjoyed it. Oh, all right, come on, let's do it. I thought, what can I do? I've got one go and I need to make it worth it. There's a couple of people from the audience who are willing to make themselves look as foolish as, uh, as uh, Jason and Polly, because John, John here, our cameraman, has set the uh, Phantom Flex to 1,000th uh, slow motion speed, 1,000 frames a second, which we sort of think is 10 times 100, so day 10, it all fits in with that for 10 hundred frames a second, so it fits in there. And we're really after people who are really happy to look a bit, look, look a bit silly. You could sort of like, People with wop and bobbly skin will go like that, that sort of thing. We're told if you had Botox or anything, it absolutely won't do. Um, somebody maybe not, they kind of have to get just a little bit messy. So, uh, so ah, oh, good, we've got, some, got your, some people arriving. What's your name, man? I love the fact well, that you Well, where are you from? Uh, Oxford. Have you got Botox, like John said? No, I don't think so. Have you got wobbly bits? Probably. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Mark. And where are you from, Mark? Um, from Ashford in Kent. Do you scare easy? No. Oh, that's a good job. That is a good thing. <laughs> okay, dude, look. If you just place yourself on that, it says, it says basically, do not stand there. Yeah. 
stand on that. There you go. John, <laughs> our Phantom Flex camera operator, is he in focus? Uh, to my eye. I yeah. was asking him, but that's all right. <laughs> are you in focus? <laughs> oh no, you are in focus. Yeah. Eye, yeah. 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 Is that all good? Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Now the, mo the main thing is that you must keep looking forward, my man. All right. Don't worry about what's going on behind you. Okay. All right. You tell me if he flinches. All right. Okay. Wait a second. One second. Hang on. What have we got here? Keep okay. facing forward. There we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ready? John, are you rolling? Yeah, are we in a go situation? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Let me give you a towel while we just rewind that. Can I have the gun? Oh, look, 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 look. Okay, that's in, that's in reverse, slow-mo. And okay. now here we go. Look at the anticipation. 1,000 frames a second, ladies and gentlemen. All going, oh. all just missing the ear. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all that water going? It's being absorbed in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant stuff. Good Brilliant. sport, okay, yeah? Good places. work. Come on over here. Come on over here. Okay, so if you stand exactly in that spot and you don't scare easily, do you? So keep looking forward. 